daycare centre. She's the owner of two dogs. Good morning, Julie. Good morning, Carrie. How are you? I'm good, thanks. And you? Yes, I'm fine, thanks. I'm fine. Seriously, I have never, ever heard of doggy daycare. I do have a friend who absolutely adores his, his dog. No, actually, did he? Yes, he did use a bit of a doggy day daycare for a couple of days and, and he used to get a little sheet sent home with him with photographs of the dog and everything that had been doing during the day and a little sort of thing you know saying Gracie's enjoying her lunch and Gracie's having a nap is, is that the kind of thing that happens? Absolutely um, and my, my, my two go to a brilliant doggy daycare in Sterling uh -huh. my safe board, and they absolutely love it um, I would wouldn't be able to actually have them if you know if, if nobody was was around to actually look after them. So at least three days a week they go to the daycare centre. Um, they're barking in the car as you pull up. They they rush in off the lead. No thought about me saying, bye, Mum, see you later. They're there anything up to about 10 hours a day. And, and they just have brilliant fun, you know. They, they play and interact all day, you know. It's supervised, you know, socialisation, so you know they're going to be safe. Uh, it's 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 brilliant. I mean, it's just the facilities in this place in Sterling are just amazing. It's, they've got a TV room. They've got leather sofas. They've got a king size heated water bed. They've got paddling pools, ball pits. Julie, know, Julie, I'm not being cheeky. I'm, I'm not being cheeky, but but they're dogs. I mean, well, why why would they want a TV room? Well, do, do, most, most like, doggy owners will say that their dogs love watching TV. Really. Absolutely, my two love watching TV. Um, yeah, at, at the daycare centre, they've got specially developed DVDs just just for doggies, so they're showing them the right sort of thing. So it's not any old gumps, as it were. It's it, it's brilliant. Educational. Well, I wouldn't say that, but, <laughs> <laughs> but it certainly keeps them occupied and, and keeps them settled. And it, it, it's just it's just brilliant. Uh, How much does this cost, then, Julie? Um, it, it, I mean, you could say it potentially £17.50 a day per dog. You would say, oh, that sounds quite a lot. Oh, that but, sounds quite a lot. <laughs> but, but, but it's not. It's brilliant value. I mean, I drop my dogs off at half past seven in the morning and I pick them up half past five, six o'clock at night. Right. So they're there for, for about 10 hours a day. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, if, if you're looking for, for even just to have a dog walker come in, you took it 10, 15 pounds an hour. Yeah. But but I suppose, Julie, what people might say is, well, if, if it's great that you do this for your dogs because, I mean, you're very concerned you wouldn't be leaving them for 10 hours a day, so you make sure that, that you make alternative provision for them. But if that's the busy life you have, why do you have dogs? Well, it's, it's like, I, I, you know, it's like I have a busy life in terms of, you know, I have to commute to my work, you know, an hour or so away. I do my job, I come home. After that, you know, they're mine, so I spend all evening with them. I've got them all weekend. It's purely, literally, the fact that I have to go out to work. And right. it's like, it, it, it's a toss-up. If there was no daycare, then certainly I wouldn't have made the decision to, to, have to a dog. get the first dog 18 months ago. And certainly because he, the way he's reacted since he's been going to daycare, he, he just totally loves it. Hence, uh, I was daft enough to go and get another one. He's 16 weeks, and she already is in daycare, and she absolutely loves it as well. Well, there you go. Um, well, uh, give us a call.